Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2015 Grade 7A Contest, Question 13, which also came up in the Grade 9, 10, and 11, 12 contests. So the question is, <coughs> what statement is correct about all integers x? Let's satisfy this equation. Alright, so now we will find the solutions for x in this equation. So let's write it on the board. Alright, so we want to find out x. And here x squared is in this bracket, so we want just that on one side. So we will bring the negative 25 on the other side of the equation, which we'll put 25 here, and still that over here on this side. All right, so as we can see, x squared minus four is then in brackets, and that's squared, but we, don't, we, want, it, we want to get rid of that power of two. So now we will find the square root. So the square root of 25 is 5. But since x squared minus 4 is in brackets, we know that that can be negative. So therefore, it can be either positive 5 or also negative 5. All right. So if we have just x squared, So we bring, for first we would have plus 5 being e the equals to the answer, and then we would have the negative 4 brought on the other side is 4 plus 5 is 9. And then for negative 5, bringing negative 4 on this side is then just 4, and then 4 minus 5 would be at negative 1. But for any integer x, x can only be, x squared can only be equal to either 0 or a positive number. It can't be equal to negative 1. So therefore, that is not possible. So we know x squared is equal to 9, and therefore, x must be equal to either negative or positive 3. So the two solutions are negative 3 and 3. Alright, now let's take a look at the options. All right, option A. Because the degree, oh. All right, now we're back. Option A. Because the degree of the equation is four, there are four different integer solutions x. Well, this does not have to be true because, for example, when x to the power of four equals to zero, well, that would every single x would have to be equal to zero and there wouldn't be four different solutions. So therefore, option A is false. All right, option B. All integer solutions are multiples of five. Well, obviously, our two solutions are negative three and three and they're obviously not multiples of five. So option B is also false. Option C. The sum of all solutions is zero. Well, we don't even have to know that x is, what x is equal to because x, the powers of x in this equation are even. So here we have x squared, well 2 is even, and even, even if we do x squared squared, that would be x to the power of 4, and that is also even. So therefore, for, if there is a positive, well, if there is a positive x, then a positive x solution, well then the negative of that must be also must also be a solution. So therefore if we have x and negative x, well the sum of that will just be zero. So therefore we know that option C must be correct. Must yeah must be a correct option. Now also we know that because our two solutions are negative three and three and negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Alright, now option D. All integer solutions are positive. 
Well, again, like I like we explained before, here the powers of x are all even. So since we if we have if there is a positive x solution, then there must be a negative of that solution for x. So therefore, not this is false. And also again, we know that a solution is negative three, which is negative. All right. So option E. The difference between the largest and the smallest integer solution is 9. Well, the difference between negative 3 and 3 is 6, so it's not 9. Therefore, option E is also false. So option F, one integer solution is bigger or equal 25. That's also false because, well, the biggest solution here is 3. And finally, option G, there is no integer x satisfying the equation. Well, that's also false because our two, we have two solutions which are negative 3 and 3. So therefore, we know that the one and only correct option is option C. The sum of all solutions is 0. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com.